guys, in today's video I'm going to be sharing with you ways that I keep my house clean, specifically five different tips that I find that really makes it easy to keep our apartment clean. Everybody wants to have a beautiful clean home, but it can be hard to keep up with it all and just can feel like the mess just reoccurs and reoccurs over and over and you can't stay on top of it. And since I'm a clean freak and I love things to be not cluttered, organized so I can have a clear mind. I want to share with you guys a few tips that have really helped me keep my apartment clean and I think they can help you too. The first tip I have is clean up as you go. So if I make a meal, I clean the dishes from that meal right after. I don't pile them in the sink. I don't leave them for that night. Get it done right then. If I come home from work and I change into my comfy clothes, I don't throw my jeans and sweater on the floor. I put them away or put them in the hamper. And I used to not do that. I used to just throw them on the floor because it seems like, oh, a couple items is fine. But then throughout the week, that adds up and adds up. And then you have this massive pile of laundry and also your room is a mess and it just makes you feel disorganized, cluttered, not good. So I find that just picking up as you go really decreases the amount of time you have to clean and the amount you have to clean. So that is my first tip. The second tip is spend 20 minutes a day cleaning, just a sweep, a full on sweep of the apartment or the house. So whenever you have time, whether that's in the afternoon, in the night, whatever it is, um, just pick up whatever remaining dishes, if you want to vacuum, fold those last couple loads of laundry, just get everything set. I like to go to bed with a clean apartment so that I can wake up to a clean apartment. I find that when you wake up to a clean apartment, it makes you more motivated to keep it clean and stay organized and be putting your stuff away as you go. If you wake up to a cluttered mess, at least for me, I'm not motivated to not just throw my dish in the sink also if there's already stuff in there. So it gives you a clear mind. It makes you feel refreshed waking up to a nice clean apartment. So I recommend just doing 20 minutes, just a quick 20 minute sweep, get everything in order so that you can wake up in a clear space. My next tip is have a designated spot for all of your items. That way, cleaning is more efficient and it's easier. So for example, have a spot for your pans so that when you're putting away the dishes, you aren't trying to find a cabinet that you can shove it in, quick close the door so it doesn't fall out. Cause then it's disorganized, it takes longer, you're trying to fit things where they don't fit and whatever. It doesn't even really make you feel that satisfied at the end because it's still kind of messy. So have a designated spot for all of your items so cleaning is quick, you know exactly where it goes, and things stay in order because they have a spot or a home where they stay. Okay, going along with this, constantly be decluttering. Clutter is like the major source of a messy house or apartment, so just constantly be going through your stuff and make sure it's not piling up. So like for example, if you have a basket like we do for mail, instead of letting it get to the point where it overflows and then it looks messy and cluttered, go through that mail once a week, shred what you need to, save what you need to, whatever, that way you're staying on top of it. If you've got shoes everywhere and you don't need all of them, sift through your stuff, make it more compact, get a little shelf for your shoes, like just make sure you're decluttering and you're not letting excess junk just build up and this can be really hard when you're in a space for a long time because things just accumulate but i find that clutter is a huge source of a messy house so just constantly making sure you are going through your stuff and making sure it has a spot in your home okay my last tip is make cleaning enjoyable cleaning doesn't have to be like okay, I'm about to just scrub the bathroom for three hours. No, cleaning for me actually is like relaxing. I enjoy cleaning, um, but a lot of people hate cleaning. So something that I do is I open the windows, turn on my diffuser, put either music or like Gilmore Girls on in the background. And that way you don't feel like your day is just committed to cleaning because you're watching TV while you do it or you're listening to music or you can listen to a book on tape, like whatever because that way it's fun and you're not just solely like in silence scrubbing the bathtub. Another way to look at it is like, say I have Gilmore Girls on. I would, I could think like, okay, I'd be watching this anyway, so let's be productive while I watch. You know what I mean? So I feel like a big part of making like 
chores and things like that more doable or more maintainable is making them fun, making them enjoyable. I just believe if you don't like to do something, it's harder to do it. So I actually enjoy cleaning. I love a clean house, but um, a lot of people hate it. So put on a show, put some candles or essential oils going and it is so much better. It feels so much better when you're done and everything is clean and clear. Those are my tips for keeping a clean apartment or house. These have really worked for me and I think just implementing even a few could really help you too. So let me know in the comments down below some of your favorite tips to keep your house clean. I would love to know. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe before you leave. You can also follow along on my Instagram, which is rachelfreebie underscore. I keep that down in the description box. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye.